Worth Creator 2025.1 has officially arrived, and it is a major update packed with features like revamp biome system and 3D object scattering that can elevate your workflow, in addition to other things. So, if you need landscapes for games, VFX, or visualization project, this update matters, and the software matters even more if you don't already have it. First of all, one of the most important updates in this release is the brand new biome system, which lets you design entire ecosystems, including forests, deserts, tundra, etc., and literally paint them onto the rains. The software takes care of the blending and layering automatically, so you can apply a forest biome, for example, with a brushstroke and see trees and environment effects populate in real time. Equally exciting is the ability to import custom 3D models, things like rocks, trees, buildings, etc., and scatter them across your landscape, either procedurally or by hand. Word Creator can scatter assets based on terrain rules, including height, slope, masks, etc., with options to avoid collisions and add random variation, or you can precisely place objects and even paint them onto the terrain surface. You can even scatter secondary details, and you can do that onto primary objects, for example, moss on rocks or vine climbing on a tree. This means you can populate terrains with vegetation, props, and entire settlements more easily. But this new update isn't just adding features for the feature's sake. It actually has a tangible impact on day-to-day -day creation workflows. For instance, the new biome painter drastically simplifies environment setup. You define a biome once, and then just paint areas on the map to apply it, instead of manually blending dozens of filters in addition to layers. This actually lets you iterate on ideas quickly, mixing procedural generation with intuitive hand-painted control. Under the hood, the developers have also optimized performance, so terrain generation and rendering run about 15% faster, I mean compared to before. So large words that might have lagged in previous versions now respond more rapidly, keeping you in the creative flow, which I would say is really important. There are also nice quality of life touches as well, like improved support for Wacom tablets for those who sculpt or paint terrains with a pen, and a general cleanup of the UI settings to make the tool more user-friendly. All these improvements mean that artists and designers, in addition to VFX artists, can create rich landscapes with less friction and waiting time. With this update also comes a suite of technical enhancements. For example, the terrain material system got a big overhaul. You can now combine color layers, textures, adobe substance materials, and gradients all in one material making advanced shaders easier to manage. The update also adds support for emissive materials, which is great for things like lava flows or magical glowing objects, and even displacement mapping, which means fine texture details can actually deform the terrain geometry for true depth. Now, the real-time viewport includes an enhanced ray tracing renderer paired with a new real-time denoiser to clean up noise. So in practice, your scene previews look more photorealistic and stable as you work without grainy artifacts. Earth Creator 2025.1 also expanded its environment tools. There is a more flexible water system for realistic rivers and oceans, layer cloud systems to create dynamic skies, and improved atmosphere scattering for lifelike fog and haze. The community has been following this release since its beta, and actually, it lives up to its hype. Early testers have called the new version a game changer, noting how the combination of procedural tools and manual control let them build scenes that would have been cumbersome before. And if you try it for yourself, you will be impressed too. So Word Creator 2025.1 was officially released, and it is available for Windows users. Existing Word Creator customers with an active license or maintenance plan can download the version update through the customer portal as part of their updates. Also, new users or those looking to upgrade can purchase the software on the Word Creator website. It is offered in tiered editions, including Indie, Professional, Studio, and Enterprise, depending on your needs and your team size, with both perpetual licenses and subscriptions available. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.